the 3CC Hub segment where we're going to be talking about in era progression to cashless society. I know you're probably wondering, okay, so um, what is there to talk about in era? There's a whole lot, a whole lot to talk about because currently so many things are happening and uh to let you know that nigeria is about to launch the inera on october 1st october 1st nigeria is launching inera on october 1st and you won't be you won't believe that um the question the question is are people ready for it yeah are people ready for it so let's dive into it and joining me on the show this lovely saturday morning is a, a financial analyst and economist timmy okushelo i'm putting a call through to him right now so that we can have this conversation and uh, of course um get to you know dissect it get to view it from different angles is this what nigeria need right now is this the right thing to do or are we supposed to have our own online currency or we should just adopt instead of you know restricting people from cryptocurrency are we just supposed to you know are we are we should we adopt our own adopt the cryptocurrency embrace it or creating our own is the way forward hello to me good morning hello to me good morning can you hear me hello good morning yeah good morning to me how are you doing this morning yeah, I'm very fine. Thank you. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. And uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, let's get into it, Timmy. Um, Inaira, right. Inaira is about to become a reality. You know, it's something that mm. we've been airing so much. You know, after um, and and it's also uh, surprising to to see that Nigerian government are trying to create their own online currency after you know all the bra about cryptocurrency we don't want it in nigeria we are not sure of it we are not this we're not that it's surprising to see that they are now you know creating their own so let's talk about let's let's get let, let me ask you this you know as a financial analyst so what exactly uh is this in era that we're talking about because i'm sure some people don't even know about it yet all right. So, um, thank you very much. Inera is actually um, a digital currency, and um, it's a reaction to the current global changes that is happening in, in the world right now. Mm. And um, a lot of countries have adopted, you know, cryptocurrency, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin and the likes, you know. And it's high time that, uh, even though we have Nigerians, you know, using uh, the cryptocurrency and, and you know other digital currencies you know to trade business to do business and all nigerian government have been skeptical about it uh but right now it, it looks like um they have to you know go along with the tide and that is that is the reality we are in now uh, the world is a global village you have to tide along and come October 1st, 20, uh, 2021, the e-Naira will be launched. It's a digital currency. It's the same. It's like having Naira in, in, in digital form. So um, we are going to be having a wallet, an e-wallet, just like we have with other brands. Uh, those who do agency banking, you know, they have a wallet. Even banks have wallets for accounts. So we are going to be having a wallet, and they are going to be having e-Naira, like an electronic Naira. Mm. in your wallet mm. that you can use to trade you can use with your vendor you can transfer to your uncle at the village you can transfer to anybody and you can also keep and save for yourself okay so um you know um let's let's talk about how um this e-naira um will work with the bank because um is it like how exactly is this going to be do we have to open another bank account you know to save the e-naira or what because Okay. Um, how does it, how, how is it going to be? All right, this is how it's going to work. Um, the CBN is going to be creating it. You know, they are the apex of all banks. And the financial institutions, like the banks, they are going to be the one uh, that will be the retail outlet for the e um, I, I, I If all of us could remember, there was a time uh, we all did name NIN, we, we linked it with our phone number, Mm -hmm. And also, you know, we have PVN. Yes. So the e is going to, 
you know, it's so easy to use that you can have it as a mobile app on your Android phone or iOS. Okay. And you can also have it uh, for those who don't use um, Android phone and iOS, uh, they can have it as uh, USSD code, like a string, USSD string, oh, where wow. you press a code you know, to be transferred and all. So this, this inner is a drive towards financial uh, inclusion. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if that is achievable, but to an extent, it will go far. Okay, so I, I love the fact that you mentioned that because there's something that's been playing in my head. You know, in Nigeria currently, yeah. there is no, there is, in fact, I, I can even say coins doesn't exist. In fact, mm. well, as, as, as far as I can remember. I, I, I don't, <laughs> in fact, I can tell you that since the last time I, I think I saw a coin is probably when I was maybe five years old. Uh, so so, so now bringing um, e-currency... It, it, does that yeah. mean um, they, 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 we're going to bring back coins? We, we, because if that's going to happen, how 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 are they going to change it? Because we're currently buying um, pure water for twenty naira. <laughs> are we going to start All buying right, pure let's... water for one naira now? I don't know how, how, how CDM plans <laughs> to achieve that. <laughs> all right, all right. This, this is about to happen. Let me go back a little bit. Mm, Before, mm. we were using trade by pattern to trade. Okay. You know, you have your Gaini, I have uh, my palm oil, yeah, sure. and um, you know, we, we exchange. That's trade by pattern. Mm. And, um, you know, that happened for a long period, but because of civilization and, you know, education that came about, um, you know, we, we thought of, okay, let, let there be something of value that we can use to ex exchange, you know, goods and services. And uh, because of the lapses that trade, that trade by barter brought in place, that is, um, you, we can't measure the same quantity of oil, uh, I mean, red oil, to Gary. So okay. there's some sort of cheating, you understand? So mm. um, people start using coins, gold, diamonds, you know, whatever, to as a form of money to sure. trade. Sure. Then paper money came, you know, but... When paper money came, it was for people to change. You know, that change from butter, trade by butter, to yeah. using money and all, yes. must have caused, at that time, I'm very sure, must have caused a rift and, um, a, a, how would I put it, a world, you know, change in dynamics or transactional dynamics of, you know, mm. uh, making payments. Mm. Now, we adopted money because, okay, it's fair. Uh, okay, you can use so, 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 amount of uh, money to pay for goods and services. Yes, and we yeah, start having banks, something. commercial banks, we start having central banks mm. and, and all, all through the world. Mm. Now, in this time, uh, before 2010, you know, or around 2010, 2015, we started having another, you know, form thing that was currency. going to shake, mm. another form of money that mm. was going to shake the financial world, mm. which was uh, the cryptocurrency, the blockchain, and you know, and, and the likes, and so, some governments have been rigid about it, you know, and that's why it has taken a long time. Mm. COVID also, you know, um, made it more, you know, more important for us to adopt, you know, cryptocurrency yes, yes. as a form because of payment and form of exchange because a lot of us were at home and mm. we still needed to pay for goods and services, we still needed to transact with people, uh, sure. you know, in other countries. Mm. You understand? So now that we have. Um, that Nigeria is now tending towards that line mm. and having in era as a form of payment mm. um, to solve that issue of Kobo, you know, because Nigeria don't spend Kobo yes, because it is, heavy. it is heavy in the pocket. You know, I can't, I can't imagine, you know, giving someone five Kobo to, mm. you know, it, people, people didn't accept that. And that's why right now, say, the least naira is 50 naira. Yes, five naira. So, I can't remember the last time I saw five naira. I can't remember the last I, time I, I saw I, ten naira. I remember naira. going to buy something at the supermarket, and the the, yeah. the lady gave me ten naira. And I was asking the lady, "What am I going to buy with ten naira?" <laughs> Honestly, so so what I'm heading to is that in naira has come, and it will solve the issue of because now when when um you know the the retailers or let me say those who produce stuffs now let's mm -hmm. say egg is supposed to be sold for 88 naira mm -hmm. you can actually tra with e naira you can transfer that exact value that yes. exact value to the person mm -hmm. you know so you don't have to carry coins and without e naira the person would like ah 
uh, uh, change issue might pop up. So let me say it is 100 naira. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the seller is increasing. Yeah. Which is, yeah, so in Naira would, would um, erase that gap. Mm -hmm. So if a particular good is for 55 Naira, that good will be sold for 55 Naira without the problem of change coming into play. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's so, actually to say that definitely we are going to start, you know, there will be coins now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it will not be physical coins. It will not yeah, be physical not coins, be physical but it will coins. be in the digital format. So yeah. we can have goods for uh, 155 points. Uh, 77 combo you get you know so you, you know, can pay a that value yeah you know I actually see I actually see this as a good as a very very fantastic development by the central bank because I believe um, if they can bring back coins it will help um, um, bring down inflation in Nigeria because um, some things they were supposed to ordinarily buy I mean look you can imagine buying um, candy I don't want to mention any yeah. brand name you can imagine buying candy Sweets, but maybe I should say sweets. For 20, that's, that's yeah. What, yeah, for 20 naira, for God's <laughs> sake. Something that we used to buy one naira. Why, why can't we buy yeah. sweets for one naira? Why does it have to be yeah, 20 so, naira? So with this yeah, new currency, so, I want to believe that will be possible. But my concern, my concern is that um, how, 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 how will uh, CBN convince these manufacturers these um the, the the retailers the wholesalers that are already selling all these um new, uh, commodities uh, at at if he had naira you know how, how would they bring it back to that coins you know you know nigeria is a country where when something has moved from 15 naira to 100 naira they want it to remain at that 100 naira <laughs> they don't want yeah, it to definitely. come down so now i'm imagining how that is going to happen because as it is, Actually, now, and if that happens, it it makes life so easy. Yeah, definitely. It because will. things will um, become Actually, cheap. there are different types of inflation, you okay. know, and um, that type of inflation you mentioned earlier, uh, where prices are, are hiked uh, because of you know uh, change, yes. because uh, you know they want it to be a rounded figures, mm. and because that is general, you understand, it yeah. cuts across the whole country. You know, it, it causes inflation. And, um, you know, we have cost push inflation. We have demand pull inflation. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, infl inflation that is even imported. We have imported inflation. We have uh, different types of inflation. Mm. Uh, now, the thing is, for manufacturers, for uh, producers, the, 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 the government just have to provide enabling environment. Okay. You know, and to make production of goods and services easy you know for these manufacturers once it is easy for them once we increase production in the country and it is easy for uh, manufacturers uh, service providers and, and the likes they would not hike prices when they are you know uh, giving out the finished product mm. you know to customers mm. um, you know government policies also affect inflation mm. you know um, taxation, uh, the foreign exchange, and a whole lot of things. Mm. If government, um, you know, is fair enough, providing uh, social infrastructure, enabling environment, you know, um, the tax are not so high, you know, um, the, 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 the producers get their goods. I mean, now when it comes to fuel, uh, petrol, you know, the cost is, is relatively low. And once these, these manufacturers and producers are producing you know, and they find it easy to do that. Giving out their product to retailers and wholesalers will be easy for them. Mm, and, mm. you know, the prices will be fair enough for consumers. But once those, those are not in place, that is the thing that high prices. You know, imagine I'm, tra I'm transporting my goods from, from the, um, let, let's say I'm a food seller. I, I've planted, I, I've, you know, or I'm a farmer. I've done a lot of things. The price of me producing my uh, products are high. Mm. If I'm taking it to an wholesaler or retailer, I'll consider my cost of production. Yes, and the I'll transport and everything. I'll co yeah, I'll consider it. So uh, I'll add it to the unique uh, prices of my products. 
Mm. You understand? So, mm. once an retailer or a retailer is coming, I want to make profit. That is the sure. aim of any producer or definitely, manufacturer. Definitely. So, once there's an enabling environment and we get to produce more, mm. the prices and of goods and services will be relatively low. Okay, so let's talk about let's talk about the stability of this coin of e naira, because um they want, they want, I didn't get that stability 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 of oh, e naira okay. yes because right. um e naira is is it will definitely be connected to um the fiat naira. So now and we and we both know that fiat naira is not stable. So mm. how, how 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 are they planning to achieve this because. Um, fiat naira there is always uh, is always uh, affected by so many things you know um, the market value and everything it goes up uh, and, and it goes up and down all the time and it's not even it's not even nowhere much to do it's, it's nowhere co uh, much to, to compare it with dollar or all these other currencies so now how are we would it be stable more stable than the fiat naira I, I don't know I don't know how that's gonna be possible um, actually, there are claims that uh, the e naira will be stable, but is our naira stable? Hmm. That is the that is the question. That is a million dollar question. Our government and you know the CBM needs to answer. Hmm. Um, naira has been you know fluctuating around six hundred naira. Hmm. There's even the forecast that by December it might even be more. Hmm. Uh, you know it might go down more, and uh, the you know naira might be. 700 800 to one dollar which is not which is not um okay uh for the economy the baba dollar looks you know we are competing with the baba dollar <laughs> for christ's sake oh my god and uh, you know if in era is going to be oh it's not even if it's like probability it's like condition mm. because in era has to be you know linked with naira mm. and naira is not stable how will in era be stable uh, we need to strengthen. We need to strengthen our currency against the naira. And once naira is stable, I mean, uh, exchanging it for dollar, the e naira will automatically be stable. Sure. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they will be able to do that. And for Nigerians to achieve that, I'm guessing there's yeah. a whole lot that I'll, need to go. We just, we just need to get our government policies right. Get mm -hmm. our policies right. We need to take decisions that we favor the naira. And that will favor, um, you know, the, the the country at large, not just uh, the currency. But once the currency is fine, you know, people can get to stop importing. People can get to once we produce more in this country, we our people start demanding for our naira. African mm. countries, mm. and once we get to a level, we start exporting, you know, uh, goods and services abroad. Foreigners will start demanding for. But we depend too much on foreign products. We depend too much on you know, the loans, taking loans abroad and, you know, doing a lot of things that weakens the country, that weakens the country's naira, uh, the country's currency to, to other, other um, especially dollars. Okay, let's talk about safety because um, currently even the fiat money, <laughs> there's a whole lot going on with it when it comes to safety. But with all this hacking here and there that we're hearing, um, do you think um, e naira is is safe? Yeah, it's very safe. E naira is has been proven to be very safe. I, I can't say it's safe because I've not used it before. It's yet to be launched. Mm. Uh, but uh, it has been uh, said to be safe uh, by CBN. Um, and why it's safe is because um, you know uh, your BVN your N9 information is online mm. um, and the risk of malicious actors attempting to hack or gain access to your data is very, very low. You know, um, you, you know, financial institutions have this issue of, you know, um, customers getting their details and using it for, you know, uh, transaction, either loading um, their, their um, betting site or, you know, taking it to get goods and services that they did not request for. And um, trust me, uh, this in era cannot be faked. Like they said, they said it cannot be faked. Uh, they can't be counterfeit because it is, uh, it, it was created uh, with top-notch security. So um, you would that, they would actually educate us on how it looks like, how it is run, and how, you know, to go about it. So, 
uh, it is actually safe, very safe, like they said. So now that we're going to have in Naira, so does that mean um, those who have been trading in cryptocurrency and all, will, will government want Nigerians to, you know, would they want to put a ban to cryptocurrency? Because that's another thing that we need to put into consideration. Because right from time, it's obvious that Nigerian government does not want cryptocurrency. Hence, the reason yeah. for putting all these uh, policies and all in place. So, would that, would that definitely mean that by the time they launch e, e Naira, are they going to put a ban on cryptocurrency in Nigeria? Because, you know, Nigerians are still skeptical about this. They don't know if, if it's something they want to put their money into yet or, or, or not. And so far, as long as they still have cryptocurrency and they can do that, you know Nigerian very well, they would definitely not want to go into something they don't <laughs> we have to, you know, go so, around, so, around, so, around so do obstacles. you think, yeah, so do you think, and, and over time, over time, some people have, um, I mean, crypto have proven to be um, 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 investment worthy for most Nigerians or some Nigerians that have, that have been investing in it. So, do you think Nigerian government would want to put a total ban on cryptocurrency in Nigeria once they launch e currency? Actually, I don't know the mind of of this government. I don't know the, the mind. Yeah. But um, looking at uh, developed countries and countries that have um, the the like USA, for example, they have e dollars and they still you know run their crypto. crypto. Uh, I feel both both um, currencies can work hand in hand, you know, you can, you, you can choose out of the two. It's a free world. You can decide to use cryptocurrency to pay for goods and services. You can decide to use the e-dollar or let, let's bring it down to Nigeria. Now you can decide to use e -Mera. But Nigeria government have, have been skeptical about cryptocurrency because uh, payments are, are not traceable and they feel, you know, um, a lot of things can be perpetrated uh, through uh, uh, cryptocurrency and the likes, but for e era it is monitorable. Um, it, it, it is traceable. Transactions on it are traceable. So I don't know if Nigerian government would want to ban cryptocurrency in order to make e era sell. But both can work, you know, hand in hand. You know, I can be here in Nigeria and pay for a particular goods that I want to import from the Gambia. Mm -hmm. You know, so far. Uh, the uh, our financial institution that is here is also there. Mm, um, so. I don't want to mention uh, bank names right now, okay. but if my particular bank mm -hmm. here in Nigeria is also in the Gambia, mm -hmm. you know, I can pay for a particular service, and that person will see it over there, and my goods will be, you know, sent down to Nigeria. So, uh, it's it in era can be used, you know, in Africa to make payments. It can be used anywhere in the world, just like cryptocurrency. The only difference is that. Inera is monit it, 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 it's monitored. It can be monitored. It can be traceable. You know, but cryptocurrency is, you know, kind of not traceable. Mm, mm, mm. I like the fact that um, um, I like the fact that the, the, the CBN is making it possible for those who doesn't have smartphones to be able to, yeah, to, yeah. to use to and use e Naira to have access to e Naira. And uh, yeah. and I think that's like going a step, um, an upgrade to cryptocurrency, if 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 I can put it that way, because I don't think cryptocurrency you can do that without a smartphone yet. So the fact that we're doing it, that that is going to be possible with e Naira, but 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 my challenge again is um, I'm looking at you know you using a phone that is not a smartphone. And they're saying like, this thing is uh, going to be a code. Can, you, can, you, can, you, can you break it down a bit for us? How, how, that, how that works, actually? I didn't get that. I didn't get the question. Okay. Um, using a phone that is not a smartphone, you know, to transact with e Naira, do you, do you, can, can you give us a little bit explanation on how that can actually work? Because um, the cryptocurrency we know is almost like this code kind of thing. So, how, how would that be possible on, on a phone that is not a smartphone, using it to transact? Actually, we, we do transactions on our phones that, that are not smartphones, mm. especially with banks. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I mentioned earlier that banks will be retail outlets for e Okay. The, the commercial banks, like I said, 
while the uh, CBN creates the inera and you know distributes it. You know, so if you have fifty thousand in your bank account mm. and um, you want let's say twenty five thousand naira mm-hmm. to be converted to inera, mm. your bank can actually help you with that. And um, so for those who don't use smartphones, mm. I think the way the government will do it is that there will be a USSD string. Okay. Like uh, banks do with uh, their mobile apps and, you know, people who don't have smartphones for mobile apps, they can use their USSD to consummate transactions. I believe, I strongly believe that Central Bank or the Nigerian government will also use that channel if mm. they are driving towards financial inclusion. Okay. And uh, they want those in the rural areas, the, the egg sellers, the pepper sellers, the maggi sellers, the provision, the, the small provision stores in those rural areas to be able to have access to Inera and you know be financially inclusive, they would have to create a USSD string for them to use to transfer this Inera to make payments and also to receive payments for those that are in that areas. Hmm, hmm. Okay. Okay. So um, would that actually mean that once we have Inera, would that mean um, soon? There won't be fiat money in Nigeria anymore because I mean, if I can just walk into a store and pick whatever I want and transfer in naira to the company account, so I, why should I need the um, cash? Do you, uh, think, do you uh, think that's where we are driving towards now? Yes. Uh, the thing is, there'll still be cash available. There'll still be paper money available. Uh, it's not going to fade away. You know, and even if it will, it's have, it will be gradual. And um, I, I don't even think it will ever fade away because no matter how um, urban, you know, we all are, no matter how urban, you know, the country becomes, there will still be some rural areas where uh, they use paper money or even in the urban centers, they will still use cash. And um, it might be possible you didn't go out with your phone or you're not with your phone or you're somewhere and it's only cash that is with you. So I believe both will work hand in hand. You can still pay cash. Uh, both will be generally accepted. But trust me, this e-Naira would not also come and you know hit the ground running immediately, no. Uh, it's going to slowly ease into the system and um, find maybe people in Lagos uh, and some, you know, uh, Maybe the capitals of states, uh, you know, like Ogun State and maybe Abuja, Portaco, uh, and, and the likes, Cross okay. River might accept it as early as possible. But some places it will ease into the system slowly and gradually. And, you know, uh, cash will still be taken, cash will still be offered, and uh, both would work hand in hand. All right, thank you so much, Timmy. In fact, um, speaking with you has been uh, a, a, a lot of eye opening, uh, and, uh, and I can say that um, I've, I've learned so much from you about Hinaira today. And, uh, and I want to believe our listeners and our viewers as well have learned so much from you today. Thank you so much, Timmy. And thank, um, thank I, you I look for- forward to talking to you about this when Hinaira is eventually launched. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, I really appreciate this opportunity to speak to the listeners and also to yourself. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, All right. Thanks so much. We have to let you go now. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, um, that's all we can take on Inaira this morning. And, uh, yes, um, we're looking forward to the launch of Inaira on October 1st. And, uh, yes, uh, I want to believe uh, this is going to be a, 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 a life-changing experience for Nigeria. If I see Nigeria becoming better and greater, because now, now, I want to believe our manufacturers, our retailers, our wholesalers will have no excuse to inflate any price. So, and I'm also hoping that now we get to pay for distance, like you're traveling from one spot to the other. I want to believe we can get to pay for distance for 20 naira, 10 naira, 15 naira. <laughs> Hopefully that will be possible. And I'm seeing a future where, uh, you know, when we now have coins that you can easily pay conveniently. And um, I, 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 I'm seeing a future where, you know, things will be always be easy and... Uh, um, you don't have to buy a house for 100 million again. We'll probably come down to like 20 million, 30 million, 
I mean, price of cement will probably drops to maybe 500 naira or even 200 naira or 188 naira. Hopefully, hopefully. So, guys, um, let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope and hope and only hope that in era will bring that nigeria that we all want the nigeria we dream to have and of course uh this is me saying god bless nigeria god bless all nigerians so guys um this is all that we can take on 360 hub my name is Tiri Meno Joe Lassisi, aka renova and big big thank you to timmy okoshelo for you know for bringing in uh his uh his knowledge and wisdom of uh finance and being an economist to the show today on 360 off and guys don't forget follow us on our social media platform on facebook we are brustry radio ng if you're not watching us already and on youtube we have brustry radio ng as well on instagram and twitter we have brustry rad and should in case you want to promote your brand or, or, or you know or products or services you can always reach us on 080-9791-0073 or 080-3436-1400 or send a mail to hello at brostreeradio.com or come to our office right here, 5860 Medifair House, Brostree, Lagos Island. And yes, we would love to hear from you. If you have a comment, you have a contribution, you would like to be part of the show, just give us a call on 080-9791-0074. Thank you so much for listening and join us again on Tricity Up next week as I bring you another interesting topic to talk about. Trist um, Saturday morning cruise to continues. Coming up next is On Flakes where we get to talk about movies. Yes, Lagos, Nigeria, and everybody watching me from all over the world. What are you watching this weekend? There is no room to be bored, no room for boredom. Guys, let's go kick it. I'll be right back after this short break. Stay connected, don't go anywhere. I've got this amazing song by um, Ira Star, and she called this one away. Stay connected. <laughs> 